Hey, Senior Unified Second Grade teachers, this is uh, Rachel from Curriculum and Instruction, and I am going to take a few minutes to share with you some exciting new resources that are available for us on um, Canvas, specifically for second grade. All of our HMH content, including Journeys, Go Math, and the Spanish versions of those are now available um, on Canvas, just for our district, not generally speaking. Um, so I'm going to show you how to access them. And lest you check out thinking, I don't use Journeys or I don't use GoMath or I just use it a little bit here and there. Um, if you're a here and there person or a not at all person, hang tight because there are some really cool resources um, on here that uh, you might want to use. I know if I were a second grade teacher, I would want to use them. So um, just hang, it, hang in there and um, here we go. So um, on, I'm just going to walk you through as if you are kind of new to Canvas and maybe you're thinking like, oh, this might be an incentive for me to get on there. So if you log in, you're going to be on your dashboard. On this global navigation menu, click on this commons button, which basically takes you to the massive uh, storage file cabinet of all things Canvas that have been created by people who voluntarily share them um, for the whole like Canvas community at large. So if you come over here to filter and filter for only Sanger Unified resources and then click on second grade. Now the fact that it's only a Sanger Unified resource um, means that we're basically helping honor our copyright license purchase. Um, so only Sanger Unified second teachers have grade teachers have access. Um, this is an easy way for us to give you access. So what you'll see is all of these with this banner are all math content and all of these with this kind of pink second grade banner are all journeys content and I'm going to show you quickly as quickly as I can um, kind of how to access these resources and what you might choose to do with them. So I'm going to start um, with a couple things actually that the majority of you will likely want to use even if you don't necessarily use go math so this one that says canvas assessments this is like magic seriously like magic so basically what this is is you'll be able to see a preview that there's 32 quizzes now this is not just any quiz this is a canvas made quiz so it's built in on the canvas quizzing platform which means it can be graded automatically. You have all of the benefits of that Canvas quizzing um, engine. It can be um, pushed back directly into the Canvas gradebook. Um, fantastic and amazing things if you don't know what those are. So let's just say, Rachel, I don't use Canvas, uh, or I'm sorry, I don't use um, GoMath really. But do you give performance tasks? Yes. So. There are performance tasks per chapter that you could use um, as practice. You could use it as a summative assessment. Um, you could utilize end of unit, um, like review and preparation. There's this mid-year test. There's a skill inventory test, all of these cool things. So I'm just going to go back up to the top and look at these performance tasks. Let me click on one. So you can see it just looks like normal, but the great thing is, is and I'll, I'll show you this in a second, is that you can edit these. You can add your own, you can take away, you can delete, you can shorten, you can take away essays, add essays, it's all customizable. So, okay, Rachel, what do I do with these? If I see something I like, I'm clicking, looking at units, looking at assessments, and I'm like, yes, I wanna look at that, um, and really kind of dig into it. My recommendation is to pull it into a sandbox, which if you forget what a sandbox is, it's just a play space, like uh, where you as a teacher, there's no students enrolled in a course. In this course, it's just a sandbox. It's a place for you to play around, mess around, move around, change, edit, revise, build, um, have other teachers in there with you and it's not going to affect students. Students can't see it. So in the event that you don't know how to make a sandbox, let me show you. Go to courses, <clears throat> all courses, plus course. And I just created a sandbox, Groft sandbox too, because I have quite a few of them. And so um, here is my sandbox down here. Where did it go? Okay, so here's my sandbox. This is where I want that content to end up. 
Now I already actually added some content in here, but that's beside the point. So here we are um, in commons. What I want to do is I want to import all of these amazing and fantastic quizzes into my sandbox. I click import. I click the sandbox where I want it to go. And of course I have all these courses, you guys, you don't have that many. I can see all of them in the whole district. Um, but what you'll see is a little uh, green bar that says it's being imported into your course. So in the meantime, while we are waiting for that to be um, imported into my course, um, I'm going to actually just open it where I originally created it. So you aren't going to be able to see this, but um, hang tight with me while I get there. And so here we go. Go math. Nope. Assessments. I believe this is it. Okay. So those assessments mind you are not going to show up in modules they are going to they're not going to show up in modules where's modules there it is they're going to show up in quizzes because that's what they are they're actually quizzes it's not a module it's a quiz that has been generated for us so let's just say i want to look at this first performance task and be like okay is this something i want to use with my students or not click edit this tab up here that says details is like just call all the kind of like directions, instructions, how many points is it worth? Are there multiple attempts allowed? Um, can students see the correct answer? When can they see the correct answer? Um, is there a code that they need for like privacy reasons so that they can only access it at a certain time? What's it do? All that. Okay, so the questions tab um, up here will take you to let me just close this so you can see. Um, it will take you to what looks like this. So each one of these little blocks is a question. So this is going to be an essay question, and I can tell if I click on this because there's a prompt. There's this question. Type a number that could be um, the number of children in first grade, and you can see up here it's an essay question. Um, let's go to this one. Same thing. If I click on that, how many students are in third grade? You can see it's an essay question. So they will have a text box that looks just like this where they can write or draw or take a picture of their answer. Um, so you can see that all of these are, I can see that all of these are essay questions because there's no options for other answers. Now let's just say I didn't want all of these to be essay questions or maybe I didn't want that many, right? I just want a few. So let's say, <clears throat> keeping in mind that I'm not going to do any major changes here because this is the original, but let's just say I wanted to add a new question. I could click plus question and I could create a multiple choice question with the answers down here. If I wanted it to be a fill in the blank or fill in multiple blanks or multiple answers. So let's just say it could be A, B, and C. Um, multiple drop downs. There's all these different options that can be really cool. So I can add and customize. If I wanted to delete any of these questions above, whoops, I could just click this X and off they would go. So totally customizable. So that is a fantastic thing about any of these assessments. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend diving in. Now, what if I wanted to use like a unit? So here's unit one. And <clears throat> what you'll see is it's basically everything related to unit one. So chapters one through four, and then all the student and teacher editions related. So you'll see there's like a performance task again, uh, vocabulary for teacher's editions. There's like letters home in all these different languages. There's games to play. There's mid chapter tests. Now keep in mind that these tests are like, PDF tests. Um, there's all of these teacher resources. Again, the teacher edition version, and then we get to lesson one. So here we are in chapter one, lesson one. You'll see here's all the student resources for that lesson, and here's all the teacher resources. All the student resources for lesson two, all the teacher resources, all the student for lesson three, you get the idea. So it goes through all the lessons for chapter one, and then chapter two starts and the same pattern repeats. So I have already uploaded this content into my Canvas 
uh, sandbox course and here's where they are. So you pull it into your sandbox, you open up some of these things, you're like, oh, that's cool, I never knew that was here, or um, like, what is this chapter one game three in a row? Hmm, I don't use, you know, uh, Go Math, but what is this game? Because it seems like it might be something that I wanna play. So um, you could hop on there and look at that and see if it's something that you like. Um, now, Okay, Rachel, I've gone through all of these things and there's no way I want to import all of this stuff into a course with my students. There's only a few things I want, or maybe I do want a whole chapter. So I'll give you examples of what you could do. So let's just say, Rachel, I don't want all this teacher edition stuff. I don't need that. I do want everything for chapter one. Here's the, here's the magic. Three buttons is where magic happens. So click the miraculous three buttons and you will see copy two. That allows you to basically copy this entire module to a different course. So you could pick any course. I'll just pick like um, <clears throat> my other sandbox, but you would probably be doing it for like a student populated course um, and click copy and it's done. It, if you go to that course, open it up, it will automatically show up under modules because you just shared an entire module. Now, what if, we're like, um, Rachel, okay, yeah, I want to add chapter one module, but I do not want it to include all these things. How do I, what should I do? So here's what I would do. Click a new, create a new module, just right in here within where you're playing. And I'm going to call it chapter one. Um, I'm going to just call it unit one, chapter one, so that we can do it by module. That module is automatically going to show up. I'll just do it fast. It's going to show up at the bottom of your list of modules down here, which is kind of a pain, but I'll show you how you can do it so you don't have to be scrolling up and down and back and forth. So here we go. Let's just say, yep, I want a letter home. I want it in English. So here's what you do. You click this. You click move to, and you can move it down to that module, the one that we just created, the unit one, chapter one module. Click move done. Okay, so what if I, now if I were to scroll down, uh, what if I want um, this um, practice book? I'm going to click on it. Um, so here we have the lesson one practice book. So this includes all of the practice pages for lesson one, um, two, three, four, you know, all of the lessons. So, yep, I definitely want that. Absolutely. This one I just made, and I'm actually going to delete it because I don't want to confuse you. What happened? Okay, yeah. So, sorry, bear with me for a second. I'm going to remove this because I don't want any confusion. I added that. Okay, so um, definitely, Rachel, I want all the practice books. So, again, magic three dots, move to um, unit one, chapter one. And I can pick, do I want it at the top of the module, right before a specific thing in the module, right after a specific thing, or at the bottom? I'll just click at the bottom for now. Um, <clears throat> and voila, there it shows up. So what I would do is I would go up through this, you know, through lesson one through whatever in chapter one and do the same thing for chapter two. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's so much scrolling, like you have no idea <laughs> unless, um, if I had put everything in one course, you guys would have hated me. So this was the, the compromise. It took a ton of time to do this, to break everything apart and put it in different modules. Um, so where are we? So there was lesson, oh, this is for chapter two. Um, so if I wanted to just, let's just say I wanted to pull out those um, practice books for um, lesson one, lesson two, here it is for lesson two. I could go move it um, down to the other module for lesson three, same thing, da, da, da. So that down here at the bottom, I have all of the things that I want put into my other class. Um, then what you can do is the exact same thing we did before with the module. So now instead of exporting the entire module to a course that has students in it, you're only taking the stuff that you actually want students to see. So you can click here, um, click um, copy to like we did before, 
you're going to send it to the name of the course where you want it to go and off it goes click copy and you will see this entire now customized module to what you want what you need sent into your course so i covered assessments i covered um, a sample of unit one um, chapters one and two um, I covered how to import that stuff into a sandbox. I covered how to kind of customize it and select and pick and choose what you want to send to a student populated course. Now, just let me show you. Keep in mind, I'll just scroll through, scroll through slowly. Um, so keep in mind, there's like a bunch of smaller pieces because there's so much content in them, you would be scrolling forever. So there's mega math resources, teacher resources, student resources. This right here is for the entire year, right? There's still going to be student and teacher resources within each unit, unit one, two, three, four. Um, but these in this one are for the entire year. Now for journeys, um, you'll see again, there's a canvas assessments. So this is all the assessments for the whole year that are built on canvas that can be customized. Um, and then these are all kind of backwards. Now in journeys, if you're familiar with it, it's divided into lessons per unit. And that's why there's so much you guys. So here we are. Um, I'll start with the beginning. Unit one, lesson one. Unit one, lesson two. Unit one, lesson three. Now I tried to add in the titles, the names of the unit, so it would be easier for you to find if you're already using Journeys and there's a specific one that you want. Now keep in mind that at the beginning, like for each unit, there is a set you'll see. So here, um, second grade Journeys, unit one, assessments and resources. So this is like all the like fancy teacher resources for all of unit one. Lesson one, two, three, four. Um, these are journeys assessments that are not Canvas, um, made in the Canvas um, quizzes um, engine. This is like PDF versions. Um, these are like RTI type resources. There's some great stuff in here, you guys, that you could totally use even if you weren't using journeys. Um, and then you'll see there's just all the, um, so lesson sorry so like unit two all the assessment resources and then um lesson six seven eight nine um ten unit three all the assessments and resources and then lesson 11 12 13 14 15. so i hope that this overview of the resources that are in commons um is helpful um, I just hope that it makes life easier for those of you, especially who are using Canvas currently or want to jump into using Canvas. A couple things to keep in mind is that obviously these resources are available now to our K6 Canvas course design teams. Um, so some of them may be choosing to use some of these resources in those courses. Um, so they might already be kind of divided up for you, but in the event that they didn't, you could still access them access them on your own and pull them in. Um, another thing is that I realize I've, you know, gone over this fast and it's kind of a lot to take in and there's a lot to look at. Um, and I don't want to overwhelm you, but I do want to show you what's there. So keep in mind that I am going to be scheduling grade level um, journeys and go math, um, like how to access this stuff, what's in there, um, how to pull it into a Canvas course, how to make it into an assignment, how to modify quizzes, all those things. So keep in mind um, that that's coming and be on the lookout for those um, trainings that you can choose to go to if you want to learn more. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day.